So now we're translating shapes. All right, now first thing to understand is the vocabulary. So look at this, D determine which translations would map figure Q onto figure R. All right, so the one that's mapping it, like mapping means like, I don't know, redraw it. Figure Q is the first one. And it's going on to figure R, meaning like R is the end product. So Q, it's important to know the Q is the first one and R is the second one. All right. So you got to, you know, so, you, so the question is, we know that we're going down and right. All right. So the question is like how much of each? The easiest thing is to pick one point in each um, figure, the match, the corresponding point and see how to get from one to the other. So let's say this top right corner go into the top right corner. Um, so, and I think if I remember right, this is right first. Yeah, so we go right first. Um, it doesn't, there's not, that's not an official rule. That's just how um, this program has it. So um, if we want to get from here to here, how do we do that? So we go right one, two, three, four, five, six. So we went right six. And this is one of those things um, that I really like the way Delta Math does it. It teaches it in a way that's like really better than I could do it without Delta Math. So we went right six, that leaves us over here. And then we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We went down seven. So it's kind of a different way of looking at what we did yesterday. Now we're translating the whole shape. And that's it. We'll try it. See if it gets us where we want to go. And how cool is that? Right, so it's a neat way to teach translation, teach translations that I didn't have before. Like, it's really, you know, it's a neat way to see it, um, and that's it. Um, and it shows it, you know, again down there, right six and down seven. All right, so um, let's see, we got a new one. Now we're going from R to S. So here's R, here's S. All right, so you, I wouldn't pick this point because this point's confusing i mean you can if you want to but you're going kind of through the shape it almost looks like so it's hard to keep track i think the easiest point is like this one you know but if you want it you, any point will work just do it carefully so on this how do i get from here to here i go left one two three four five six i went left six six of course now trisha is going to be like well she's going to be like don't do the homework so that we don't have to waste time tomorrow looking at Mr. Mello's house. All right, so then we go down one, two, three. I'm just kidding, Chris. Four, five. So we're going down five. Down five. And that's it. And it shows you. And just realize once it tries it for you, and then you have to wait a second until you click submit. You know, so don't stress about that. Um, and again, th this is really cool because you kind of learn it as you do it from the visual. It's, uh, you know, especially your generation, which is a very visual generation. Um, so it's really cool. Um, all right, one more, and I'll show you a little shortcut you can do if you want. Um, so we're going from O to P. So it looks like it's always going in alphabetical order. But um, so we're going from the blue to the green. All right, so I'll stick with this point. So you can go if you want negative 9 minus 12. It's just three spots. It's kind of easy on this one because it's so close. But on some of the bigger ones, it's easier just... So here we're going left three. Maybe I'll show you one more. Let's see if I can keep it under five minutes. And we're going down one, two, three, four, five. Five. Try. And then I'll try to find one that um, has a really big move. So I can show you my little kind of shortcut. Um, but it's only if you're... If you got a mathy brain, let's say. Okay, so let's find one that's big. Big jump. They're far apart, not that. Let's see what's even bigger. Nah, come on, give it. I'm with a far one. That's decent. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is good. So, let's say I'm going to compare this bot. Now we're going from U to V. Yeah, from the blue to the green. So, I'm going from this to this, right? So, the shortcut I can do is this is at negative nine, right? This point. And the other one is at negative one. So I can just go like negative one minus negative nine is eight. So I went, oh wait, yeah. So I went right eight. And the same thing, again, you could do it the other way. You could just count if you want. This is at negative seven. 
This one's at negative one. Negative one minus negative seven is six. So I went up six. So that's the shortcut. Again, you could still count over here, like one, two, three, you know, like, but you can go negative nine minus negative one. That's eight. And the same thing, you know, so that's a, that's kind of a shortcut. All right. Um, and I think with this one, if you get it right, it's really hard to not get a hundred on this because I think if you get it wrong, it's going to tell you. Um, so that's it. And 